What's going on football fans? Welcome back to another annual NFL Seasons Predictions video. This year, we're gonna do it a little bit different. Instead of going over back and forth where we think each team is gonna rank in their division, we feel like that was a little confusing. Instead, we're gonna do one division at a time, one person at a time. So basically, first we started with the AFC East, what you know he might think and for each team, and then what I would think. We still have 15 seconds to explain each team and then 30 seconds to explain the playoff games but you might see a little more of what we're talking about if you've seen the past video. But enough talking, let's get straight into it. I actually think the New York Jets are not a pushover team this year. I've always been high on Zach Wilson, and I think Robert Sala should be a good addition at head coach, but they do need more NFL experience to be a playoff team. I'm not quite sure if I'm a believer in Tua yet, and the double offensive coordinator duo is weird, but I do believe in Brian Flores and the defense he's working with. This should be a playoff team. I think last year was a fluke for the New England Patriots. All of the players are coming back after the opt-outs, and Bill Belichick is still the head coach. Look at what he's done in the offseason. This should be a playoff team. Not a whole lot to say here. Everyone knows who this Bills team is. They just need to reach the Super Bowl. Coming last place in the AFC East is seemingly always the New York Jets. However, the good news is that I think they're doing a little bit better than they do before now that they have Zach Wilson and a more promising head coach. Let's go, baby. I finally am picking my Dolphins to make the playoffs. I think this team's honestly ready to go. I think Tua should be able to take a leap with all the weapons he has at receiver, and this defense should still be elite. Man, I don't know if I'm actually high on the Patriots or not. Ultimately, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt just because there were a lot of COVID opt-outs, and I think their quarterback play is maybe gonna be a little better. I'm still shaky on their offense, but their defense is still good. Okay, fine. I'll finally admit it, the B words are finally going to be Super Bowl contenders. I don't want to admit it, but you know what, I'll, I'll finally admit it. I think the Bengals are really going to regret passing on Penny Sewell. If they want to win a lot of games, they have to protect their quarterback. I don't think they're going to do that here. Plus, Zach Wilson's been on the hot seat ever since he first joined the team. They won't be terrible. They do still have an elite defense and Mike Tomlin is still their head coach, but Big Ben is still their quarterback, so that kind of limits them from going to the playoffs. This team is gonna be exactly who we saw last year and a little bit of the year prior. Lamar Jackson and John Harbaugh are gonna be great. They just have to get far in the playoffs. It is pretty bold of me to actually think the Browns will win the division and get a lot of wins here, but I think they have the right pieces in place and they should make a good season in Cleveland. Okay, two wins probably is a little bit too low, but I don't know, man. I think the Bengals are gonna regret not taking Penn Ice Sewell. Jamar Chase will help, but I don't know, man. I kind of feel bad for Joe Burrow. Yeah, I do think some people are over-exaggerating on how bad the Steelers will be this year. I do think they'll take a step down, but it's mostly just because I think they're a little more limited just because of their offensive line and Big Ben. I do like some of the draft picks that the Ravens added, and I think it will help Lamar Jackson in the passing game. This team probably will be a playoff team. It'll be interesting to see if they actually go far in the playoffs. They were able to win last year, but now it's time to get to the Super Bowl. I know, we're probably on like year three of picking the Browns to win the AFC North, but I do think it's going to happen this year. I think they're well coached, they got a lot of talent, their offensive line is really good. It should be, should be a good team. Now, I think if Deshaun Watson plays, this team might exceed a lot more wins than I think they're gonna get. But it doesn't look like Deshaun Watson's gonna play, so there's gonna be <laughs> pretty bad. 
Here's maybe a bit of a shocker. I got the Colts to win four games this year. They're already off to a rocky start with all these injuries, and this team crumbles when they don't have a quarterback. Even if Carson Wentz comes back, I don't really know if he's the guy. They'll be in the thick of things, but they're just the Jags. <laughs> Losing Arthur Smith is a pretty big blow, but I guess adding Julio Jones is a pretty big dub, so this team is gonna be fine. You know, same thing that, you know, I heard him say, if Deshaun Watson plays, they might not be that bad, but you know, regardless if he plays or not, they shouldn't be a playoff team or anything. I'm not gonna lie, man, I'm kinda not buying into Urban Meyer. Like, obviously Trevor Lawrence makes sense, but granted, any GM and coach would have made that move if they were in that position. And like, really, a running back late first round and Tim Tebow, like, I don't know. Even if Wentz was healthy the whole season, I don't really know if they would've won this division. There's just not a lot of like, really good star talent. And they have questions at quarterback every year. They should take a step back this year. It seems like I'm always doubting this team, but I'm not gonna do it anymore. They did lose Arthur Smith, but they were able to get Julio Jones, and I think he fits well with the system. This offense should be pretty good. <laughs> At this point, I'm just repeating everything I say about this team every year. They don't have a quarterback, they don't have a lot of wins. It's simple. This team always finds a way to be a lot better than expected by not fixing their roster. It's weird. And I think we're gonna have the exact same Raiders team we've seen like all the time. A cute culture, but not a playoff team. I think realistically, they'll be fine. But I don't know, my gut always is a little lower on this team because they're always injured, they're terrible on special teams, the bad luck. It's just, it could go haywire, but they'll be fine is what I predict. No, I'm not doing it. Every year, every year I think the Broncos are some sleeper playoff team because they show potential the year before. Not doing that! They're sticking with Drew Locke, like, really? This team is probably gonna do what they did last year. It'll look like they have potential because I do think John Gruden is still a good offensive-minded coach, but then they'll collapse because of the lack of talent. And honestly, I think after this season, it's probably time for Gruden to go. There's a lot of people that think the Chargers could be a potential sleeper team this year, and I, I definitely see it. I hear you guys. And I even have them winning nine games, but I think they need a little more to prove, especially for a team with the history of the Chargers. Now, it does seem like every team that loses the Super Bowl goes through a pretty bad hangover season, but I don't think that'll be the case with the Chiefs. I think they're just a little too talented, especially on offense and well-coached, and obviously Patrick Mahomes is in there. They should still be a good team. Probably the biggest surprise on my predictions here, I got the Dallas Cowboys to only win four games. And why is that? I think Mike McCarthy is that big of a fraud. And just, just trust me, don't trust in Dan Quinn. Just don't, don't, don't do it. Uh, this team just has a little bit of work to do. I don't really think the Eagles are playoff contenders. Don't get me wrong, the Giants are not at all to be sleeped on. I do believe in Joe Judge, and he's actually building a pretty good team here in New York. However, I think there's just other NFC teams that are a lot better than them, and they will beat them out. Kudos to the Washington football team for building a pretty good team here. They maybe even have a good quarterback now in Ryan Fitzpatrick. This team could be pretty good in 2021. I feel like they're gonna be kinda like the Jags. It's just probably more than one win, obviously, last year, but uh, like, I don't think Jalen Hurts is gonna be terrible, but it'll be kinda like Gardner Minshew, like just not good enough to stick with him for the future. 
Although I think this is probably the actual best team in the division, it's just kind of been proven that NFC East winners don't win back-to-back -back championships for some reason, and this team's schedule is really tough. All right, we're all rooting for Dak. We really are, but oh my goodness, this coaching staff. Like, even when Dak was healthy, Mike McCarthy made the team look terrible. And then, really, Dan Quinn is your defensive coordinator? Now, I still don't think the Giants are actually going to be this great football team or anything, but I kind of like what they're building with Joe Judge. They should have a good defense, and Daniel Jones is honestly doing better than expected, so I'm going to pick them to win the division. I don't really think the Detroit Lions are going to be a very good team in 2021, but I don't think they're necessarily a pushover either. Jarrett Goff is a good quarterback, and when Dan Campbell was interim head coach for the Dolphins not that long ago, the team was somewhat competitive. I guess I just am not that big of a Kirk Cousins believer, man. I'm also not a believer in Kellen Mond, and I'm not really a believer in what this defense can do in 2021. I don't know, they'll be fine. I'm not saying they'll be terrible or anything, but I'm not feeling a playoff team. Don't get me wrong, I don't think playoffs are totally out of the picture for this Bears team. They do still have an elite defense, a good set of playmakers on offense, and let's just face it, if they could make the playoffs with Mitch Trubisky, they can maybe even make the playoffs with a rookie quarterback. It's the same old story, as long as Aaron Rodgers is there, they're going to win a lot of games. Now, the Detroit Lions might actually be a little fun to watch towards the end of the season, just because of Dan Campbell and the atmosphere and, you know, culture he brings to the Lions. But, you know, ultimately, I just still don't think it's a very good football team. Okay, I, some people are a little higher in this Bears team just because they like Justin Fields, but, you know, rookie quarterbacks just usually don't take their team to the playoffs. And then, is Matt Nagy still a good coach? Like, I don't know, not buying the Bears. It seems like everyone's kind of forgotten about the Vikings. I think they're better than people think. Kirk Cousins is not, honestly, not even doing bad. And Justin Jefferson is in there now, Adam Thielen... Mike Zimmer, still a good head coach. I think they'll make the playoffs. All right, last dance, apparently, for Rodgers and Devontae Adams. But we all know what's going to happen. They're probably going to make the NFC Championship and lose. So can they get past that hump? We'll see. Sam Darnold isn't going to be bad, per se. He does have a really good roster to work with compared to what he had with Adam Gase in New York. But I guess I do need to see a little more from him before I can say he's going to lead this team to the playoffs. Not a pushover team at all. Sean Payton is still the head coach, and they have a great roster to work with. However, I don't know if Taysom Hill or Jameis Winston are to be trusted. They might be picking somewhat early to get a quarterback. Sadly, I don't have my Atlanta Falcons going to the playoffs. Sorry, sorry, but Arthur Smith is bringing in what usually works in Atlanta. They could be at least competitive. What do you want me to say? That Tom Brady's going to lose again? <laughs> Uh, sorry, Rise Up Rundown fans watching this. I do have you guys in last place, but I do think that you have more potential this year than you did last year simply by getting rid of Dan Quinn. However, they did lose Julio, and they maybe got to get rid of that choking culture. I can see this team overperforming what I have here simply because I think... Even though I always brag about how right I was about Darnold three years ago, this is by far the best team he's ever had to work with, so we'll see, but I think they have a few more things to figure out. Uh, for the first time in a while, I'm not really believing in the Saints. You know, it's we've already seen Jameis Winston with a Super Bowl team that just won the Super Bowl. They always end up with, like, seven win seasons. He's trying, I just, I don't believe in them. Somehow, this team was able to bring everybody back. 
And honestly, they probably weren't actually ready to win the Super Bowl last year because they were still adjusting and they were a wild card at the end of the day. So this team should be ready to go. It's not a guarantee Arizona makes the playoffs. They do still have a little bit of questions with their head coach and even their defensive coordinator in Vance Joseph. But I don't think there's any question marks with this roster and it should be enough to take them to the playoffs. It should be, we'll see. I'll be real with you, I am a little lower on this Niners squad. It's just not often you see rookie quarterbacks seriously win 11 games and go to the playoffs. And besides George Kittle, there's not much offensive help, but there's Kyle Shanahan. It's Pete Carroll and Russell Wilson, they're making playoffs. Sean McVay never gives up. He's actually built a really good roster here, and they should be a Super Bowl contending team. Oh man, if there's any team that I think is held back by their coaching staff that much, I think it's the Arizona Cardinals. They're so talented. They even have Super Bowl potential. But Cliff Kingsbury and Vance Joseph are just... Ugh. Okay, Seahawks, we get it. You can make playoffs every year, but come on, what are we doing? Are we going to make a Super Bowl or what? Like, I think it's just the time has kind of passed Pete Carroll a little bit, and this might even be his last year. We'll see. Okay, I know I just got done talking about the Bears, about how they won't make the playoffs because of their rookie quarterback, and the record is probably too high for the Niners here, but I think Kyle Shanahan is a good enough coach to get this team to do that, and they seem like a pretty obvious choice to bounce back, right? If there's one team besides the Dolphins that I'm excited to watch this year, it's the Rams. I think people are underestimating how much better this team is with Matt Stafford. You pair that up with these receivers, Sean McVay, and Raheem Morris is also the defensive coordinator here. Let's be real, for this channel, we were kind of waiting for this day to happen, to actually predict the Miami Dolphins to go to the playoffs, and here we are. I actually got the Miami Dolphins going to the playoffs, and it's an AFC East showdown, the Miami Dolphins versus the Buffalo Bills, and it's going to be pretty ugly because it's in really cold weather, and the Bills, let's just be real, are a much better team. Up next, we got the New England Patriots traveling to Cleveland to face the Cleveland Browns. Now, here's something really weird to say. I think the New England Patriots are going to upset the Cleveland Browns. That's kind of weird to say. But let's face it, Bill Belichick always has his team prepared when it comes to the playoffs. I think the Browns might get a little too cocky. We have, yet again, a Baltimore Ravens versus Tennessee Titans playoff matchup. And if this seriously does happen this year, this could actually end up being one of the more heated and entertaining rivalries in the NFL. I had to really sit down and think about this one. I just don't know who's going to win. But I guess I got the Titans because I feel they have a little more offensive firepower, but not super confident in it, though. Now we got the Patriots versus the Chiefs. This is also a matchup we're kind of seeing a lot these days. Um, it's a great run for the Patriots and Bill Belichick, but unfortunately for them, I think Andy Reid has this team ready to go and Patrick Mahomes is just not really to be doubted. The Titans and the Bills. Now, while this might not be as close as the Ravens and Titans, I do still think that this game was pretty hard to think of who was going to win because the Titans certainly have a chance and it might be an electric game, but what's also going to be electric is the Bills Mafia, especially in the snow. I think the Bills take the win here. Strangely, I actually didn't even expect to have the exact same AFC Championship matchup we had last year and it could just come again in 2021. I guess it's not impossible because these teams are elite. 
Now, I will admit the sole reason why I'm picking the Bills to win is because, let's just face it, whoever loses the Super Bowl the year prior doesn't seriously make it the year after, but I also think the Bills are a team that's going to be ready to go. They make the Super Bowl. Uh, pretty weirdly, we have the same AFC playoffs here, but if that's just how it turns out, it's how it turns out. But here we go. Finally, I got my Dolphins in the playoffs against the Bills. Like, really? I, it could be anyone but this stupid team, and they're going to embarrass us, and we're going to lose, and we're going to look like we shouldn't have belonged there. Just, I don't even want to talk about it. Let's move on. Okay, the Browns are actually hosting their first playoff game in like how many years i don't even know but anyway here we go the patriots are back in the playoffs and bill belichick does usually do a good job at preparing his team and you know that's just how the patriots always do it but this browns team is not only well coached but they're very very talented i don't know i'm so back and forth on this game i think i'm gonna pick the browns just because they're a more talented team but it really could go either way another ravens and titans matchup I'd be really happy if this happened because these are always really fun games to watch and these teams are so heated whenever they play each other. Um, but I don't know, this is just, they're always such good games and I don't know, it really could go either way. I can see the Ravens defense limiting the Titans, especially without Arthur Smith, but you know, also Lamar Jackson and his playoff struggles. And that's ultimately why I'm gonna pick the Titans in this game. An AFC Championship rematch from the year before. I kind of have a lot of these rematches, but um, anyway, so this one should be fun. I think I can see a potential upset coming in here, but uh, I'm still going to pick the Chiefs. I can't actually imagine they don't win at least one playoff game, so I'm still going to roll with the Chiefs here, but never know. Titans have this whole upset thing they like to do, so we'll see. You better be Darn sure I am rooting for the Browns in this game. I do not want to see the Bills prove me wrong again. And you know what? I'm going to call it, actually. Most times we don't get a rematch of the championship game that we had last year. And I think this Browns team is ready to at least make a run for the Super Bowl. And also a, a big f*** you to the Bills. Okay, this is like the fourth straight championship appearance for the Chiefs. Like, that's impressive. I think they're going to be the next, if not dynasty team, at least just the next, like, consistent AFC team. You know what I'm talking about. But, okay, here we go. An AFC championship game against the Browns? I think a lot of people would be rooting for them. Like, come on, Cleveland, you're so close. Come on, just please win it. I'm going to give it to the Chiefs, though. I think they're mad about losing the Super Bowl last year. And I think the Browns just have one more year to go. Usually, when the Arizona Cardinals and Green Bay Packers play in the playoffs, it is one entertaining playoff game, and the Cardinals usually win. Now, I am expecting another entertaining game here because it's Aaron Rodgers versus Kyler Murray, two exciting quarterbacks to watch. But it is in Lambeau, and it's Aaron Rodgers versus Cliff Kingsbury and Vance Joseph. <laughs> This has got to be the toughest playoff matchup I have ever seen. Sean McVay versus Kyle Shanahan, two coaches that always have their team prepared in the playoffs with a loaded roster. This is going to be scary and it's a divisional matchup, but I am going to have to pick Sean McVay and the Rams. I think Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey are going to be a bit too much for a rookie quarterback. No disrespect to any NFC East fans, it's just, unfortunately, we have to waste yet another great NFC playoff spot with an NFC East team. It's just a waste, and yet again, it's the Seahawks getting to play an NFC East team. I do think they win, but I guess it could be pretty entertaining. Ryan Fitzpatrick is looking pretty good, and Ron Rivera might have his team ready to go, but Seahawks advance. Russell Wilson versus Tom Brady. 
Yeah, that sounds a bit familiar, doesn't it? This might even be game of the year if it is to live up to expectations. Now, I don't think, despite the fact that the Seahawks are way less talented than the Bucks, the Seahawks definitely have a chance. Russell Wilson surprisingly actually plays well against Tom Brady. But I think I'm going to have to give it to the Bucks simply because Tom Brady is not to be doubted yet. I got a game that actually happened last year, the Los Angeles Rams versus the Green Bay Packers. That might be pretty entertaining. Now, I think the Packers are going to win this game because you know how it goes. The Packers make the NFC Championship. You might know how it goes after that. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how I ended up with the exact same conference championship matchups that happened last year. For the AFC, I had the Chiefs and the Bills, and the NFC, I had the Packers and the Bucks. Now, I really, really want Aaron Rodgers to win. I just want him to come out of Green Bay on top, but unfortunately, I got Tom Brady yet again. He's just got a much better roster. He's Tom Brady. He can't be doubted, and... Packers just don't make it this far. Okay, the Vikings at the Rams. This is a pretty interesting matchup. We'll see how this all turns out. Mike Zimmer is a pretty experienced coach when it comes to the playoffs, but so is Sean McVay. So this is going to be a fun one to watch, but I am just way too high on the Rams to say that they'll be a one and done team. <laughs> Yet another Seattle and Green Bay playoff matchup. We seem to get these a lot, but they're fun, so I guess we're not complaining. But uh, yeah, so this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, Seahawks usually don't beat the Packers in Lambeau. It seems like whoever's home always wins this game, so I'll give it to the Packers, but it'll be a well-fought battle. Giants made an interesting run, and I think there are futures underrated. I'll just put it that way. I don't think it's this great elite future, but um, but yeah, I think the Niners are going to make some noise in this pretty easy matchup, to be honest, and they move on to the next round of the playoffs. All right, Tampa Bay versus the Niners. I, I maybe shouldn't remind people of that one Kyle Shanahan versus Tom Brady matchup, but uh, we'll see. It'll be a fun one. I think the Bucs will win this game, though. They're home. They've had a, you know, a week to rest. And uh, again, I'm not always sold on like rookie quarterbacks taking their team that far. But this one went pretty far. So there you go, Niner fans. <laughs> well, I do have another rematch of the divisional round between Rams and Packers. Only this time, it's going to be the Rams at home. And this time, I think the Rams are going to win. So I guess if there's anything good for the Packer fans is that you didn't lose in the NFC Championship this time. But uh, but yeah, you know, Rams, I think, are a really good football team. And I think they at least make the championship game. Oh, my goodness. Rams and Bucks. I think this will be such a fun game to watch. I really do. And I don't think it's going to go like how Super Bowl 53 did between Tom Brady and the... Sean McVay led Rams because Matt Stafford, I'm telling you guys, is a different quarterback. Um, but we'll see. Tampa Bay is undeniably a good team. So are the Rams. Um, usually we don't actually see Super Bowl rematches the year after. So yeah, I'm picking the Rams. In Super Bowl 56, I got the Buffalo Bills and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now... The Bills are a very, very good team. They got an awesome quarterback. Ugh, man, I got the Bucks winning. It's just with Tampa Bay winning back-to-back -back championships and hockey, Tom Brady always winning Super Bowls and proving people wrong, a loaded roster. How the actual can you doubt Tom Brady? That's all I got to say. Okay, if I don't mean to keep going back to the last time these teams played, but oh my goodness, if we get a Super Bowl that was like the last time the Rams and Chiefs played, 
Holy smokes, this will be a fun game. But I think regardless, it will be a very fun to watch Super Bowl. Now, as much as I love the Rams, uh, I, I can't realistically see Patrick Mahomes winning the Super Bowl two times in a row. So I will pick the Chiefs to win the 2021 season. But that's just what we think. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments below. Of course, as always, subscribe to all these channels in the description below if you like what you see here. And I guess until then, we'll catch you until next time.